Hey guys, so what you want to do is look up cats. Okay? And then you want to go into images. And you want to save a picture of a cute cat. Because cats are freaking adorable, man. Freaking adorable. Okay? <laughs> Hey guys, Dr. Noobcast here, and welcome to another video. And, um, my friend, I told my friends that I made my own server, and they're like, How the hell did you do that? Like, and, like, it kind of, it kind of made me want to do this video. So, to help all of you guys out who are trying to make a server or something, yeah, so you can. I hope this tutorial is going to be helpful for you. And yeah, so let's get right to it. So the first thing you want to do, the very, 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 very first thing is go onto Google and look up spigotmc.org. Link will be down in the description. Everything will be down in the description. Um you kind of want to you go into downloads click on to download and you click build tools that jar so you want to download this I almost forgot you kinda you have to download something else as well you need to download the Java um, development kit also known as the JDK and you want to upgrade your Java to the latest version so I would what I would recommend is download uh, the latest version for me right now at this moment it's um, version 8 update 40 and so you want to head down link in the description you want to go to this website you click accept license or whatever it says then you want to find your version it has your thing I don't know how to call it your operating system and how much bit you have so for me I have a Windows 64 computer Windows 86 is commonly known as 32-bit uh, so for 32-bit you want to download 86 and for 64-bit you download 64 so you want to download that it takes really long to download so I'm not going to download it you also want to upgrade your Java and then what you do is you want to download a software called JIT so if we search up JIT you yeah link will be down in the description anyway you click download for Windows it should start downloading I'm just gonna cancel that because I don't want it I already have a downloader you want to install it etc. Once you do that you want to create a new folder on your desktop call it whatever I call the tutorial don't judge me. Find your build tools file uh, you put it into that folder let me just do that yeah so that's what it's going to be called for you guys what you also want to download is you want to download uTorrent but but if, when you download it don't ever 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 use it to do something illegal because it is illegal I'm just going to show you how to how you can basically port forward fast without actually doing something hard in a way so you want to go down here and you want to download it so I already downloaded so yeah um, you download it, you install it, and stuff, yeah. So what you want to do is open up Jitbash. Once you've done that, you want to enter in, uh, you want to enter in the directory of where you saved your file. So for me, I saved a folder on my desktop, so I type in desktop, and I'm in my desktop directory. Now, you, can you see where it says your file name? You want to type that name in as well. 
So you go CD tutorial. Okay, you're in your tutorial. Then you want to paste in the thing I put in uh, the description. It's yeah, it should say there's going to be a 32 bit and there's going to be a 64 bit. Depending on what type of computer you have, you want to use the right thing, my Bob. I don't know what it's called, don't judge me. Now, what you want to do is you want to press enter and it should do that. If you've gone up this far, that means you've done everything right so far. Well done. Give yourself a pat on the back, you cheeky scrub. I'll see you guys when it's stopped doing the process it's doing right now. Because it takes from 5 to 20 minutes. So, I'll see you when it's finished, guys.
Bros, and we're back! Oh, Jesus. That took pretty darn long, to be honest. That took about 15, 20, 25 minutes. Oh, my battery's running low. And okay, guys, so the next step is you want to put, you want to make, you want to go into new, you want to create a new text document. And you just, yeah, so you don't need to call it anything. And paste the code that I put down in the description below. This piece of code, um, for me, it's not this, but it's, if it's named something different. So basically what you want to do, it doesn't really matter if you use spigot or craft bucket, but I'm just going to use craft bucket. I'm going to, I'm going to copy the name and what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in the name here so it's this right I go this is very important now you want to rename this something like start or start server or something like that you want to go into you want to put it all files or else it won't be like that you want to name it start or something as I said dot b a t now this is going to create a batch file which then you can run you double click it and it runs so you it loads it loads this won't take long trust me it loads it loads it loads it loads it loads okay yeah so it says to press any key just press the spacebar what you want to do is you want to find the thing called EULA E U L A and you want to rub out the false and put in true. You want to save it and close it down. You restart start and you let it load. Your server is making it's creating it, it's creating the spawn, it's creating everything. So it's creating the spawn area, the seed, it's creating the spawn area again. Okay, so it's it's it says that it's done. Now you wanna hit stop. It's gonna save and then you want to just Press something. Now, now here you want to open up uTorrent and you want to go into preferences and you want to. It's going to open up like this, okay? You're going to open up, you go up into options, preferences, you want to go down until you find connection. And can you see this port bit? Now we need to go back to our file, open up the server. And you want to find a thing in here which says server port. If you leave it to 5565, that's a default, it'll just be your IP and that's it. But if you can put in anything really you want but it's going to change so let's say it's going to change to that your IP whatever uh, yeah so that's your IP if you leave it with if you put it if you leave it as two five two five five six five it's just going to be like that if you change it to something else it could be anything I think or not not everything but it will have to be colon and then 2169 just as your port so it's really up to you um, I just put it in for safety reasons so just wanna save that so now you have your port you just write down the port 1337 you click apply okay now the second thing you want to do is you want to press uh, you want to press 
the start button and you want to press or if you're in Windows 8 and you want to type in CMD that will open up the command prompt you want to put in IP config you want to go down where it says wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi you go to the top you right click and you go into edit you click mark you want to take the IPv4 address on it. you want to mark that you then go into edit copy okay you want to close that up you go into shut up you go into server and you see where it says server IP put that in and then yeah so we're going to save that for now The next thing you definitely want to do is you want to type in what's my IP address. So, yep. And I'm going to cover it up because I don't want people to be seeing it. But your IP should be over here, it should be on top of the page. You copy that IP copy and then of course you go into minecraft okay before you, of course you want to start your server so you start up your server it's gonna do stuff that time you can be starting up minecraft or something it's loading okay it's done so now It is loading. Okay, you go into multiplayer. I'm going to block out the IP again because I don't want people to see it. And you put in, as you can see, since my port was 1337, I put it 1337. So, yeah. You can join server. And BAM! You just created your own server! Congratulations! And people can join the server, they can do stuff on it, you know. This is actually a very good... This is... This is quite cool, this is a cool... Thing, my Bob. Yeah, um, I'll tell you what, uh, I'll do... Slash seed... Oh yeah, also you want to go over and up my name. There, I'm upped. Slash seed. That's the seed if you want to copy that or if you're too lazy to. But yeah, so that's really all. That's, yeah, I guess that's everything you need to know basically showed you basically how to port forward showed you how to build up the server and stuff um, I'll put all the resources in the description down the frick below um, make sure to hit that like button you cheeky scrubs um, if we could get about maybe five likes on this tutorial uh, that'd be great it'll be telling me that it's really helping you guys and that I should continue uh, to show you what I know my knowledge so hope you guys enjoyed uh, if you'd like to become a pro make sure to scrub scribe and see you all pros later peace